This truck gave me hard the time a few days ago. Because it had a flat tire. Today I wanted to make sure because it's winter, winter time and it's cold. We get, we might get a storm any time. I wanted to make sure I don't have any surprise with it. So oil it has a short stick. The so oil is good. Looks like fresh oil. That's fresh. As fresh as it can be. That is almost fresh. So the oil is okay. The coolant cold, this is cold. Above minimum, too much above minimum. Here sometimes you have to clean that because of the this is a power stealing power, power stealing reservoir. I can see it like right here. That is the level. I think it's right here. If you look at carefully, it is right this mark right here. If you are not sure, just open the cap. If you are not sure that you are not you are seeing the right thing, it's just a, it's a pressure cap. It is not. Is it a screw? It is a pressure cap. It is. It's a pressure. It doesn't have a screw. If you look at it from inside, you have two knobs on the side, and it has a spring inside. You just have to press on it and turn. I can you see anything inside? I can see it. Yeah, I can see it perfectly. Yeah, you can see the reflection from the fluid. So it does have a fluid. Here, here you don't start, try to screw it. You just look at the, the, these knobs. You align the knobs to the side, like this. And you press on the spring and you teeth. That's all. It stops. So this is okay. The bar is steering is okay. If you look at the steer, most important thing is to look at the steel from inside. Inside you, you have no tear, no bubble, nothing. Uh, you, can, you cannot see anything that is damaged on the steer. Look at this edge. This edge are very smooth. If you go around it, you have to go around the steer to make sure you don't have a part that is worn badly due to abrupt break. It doesn't look like uh, have any kind of d damage. If you look at the brick drum here, it is retracted all the way inside. If you follow it, the bricks are very thick. So you have no problem with the bricks in the front. And there's a steering mechanism. Hold it with your hand. There is no much play. So we are good here. Go to the other side before we start the pressure, air pressure. Check the lights. Have power. We have the wind shield, but we need to, ha to add at least a half a gallon. Look at this tire. Looks okay. From inside, you go around. There is no bubbles, nothing. The brake piston drum. Why is this an inch out? It has. If you look at here, it has a zip tie. There's one inch from the wall of the drum to the junction. We'll go back again. This brake is okay. This brake bed thickness is okay. Here an inch between the zip tie and the junction of the U-shaped uh, connector.
and I have to remove the covers. Whenever you have covers like that on the wheels, don't be discouraged. If you get discouraged, you get in an emergency on a highway and you have an embarrassing situation. Don't get discouraged, just to remove them. It won't take a lot of effort to remove them. Here, we have one inch between the zip tie. This is a zip tie we put on the brakes to, to make sure this distance. If, if, the, if the brakes are torn, if the brake pad are very thin, that piston, that rod will come out more, will be pushed out more to the front. That is how they measure. Sometimes you have to have a a measure tool to see how much that that bush that bush rod inside here you have a diaphragm and the spring and you have the air pressure this is a brake the brake line and this is the US uh, ABS control signal that goes all the way inside you know, if you follow it, it go under here inside, have a sensor for the ABS sensor that can control the traction of the highway. You drive in a sliding condition. But this is your brake line air pressure. Goes inside, you have a diaphragm and a spring. And the spring pushes that rod. That rod rotates, pushes that arm. That arm rotates that horizontal axle and it's connected to an S-shaped cam right here inside this place under my finger the S-shaped cam inside here will spread the brake shoes what is that part right here that, that thick part this is uh, what you call it an automatic adjuster part of the distance that the rod travel to push the S cap, to rotate the S cap. So we are here, we're here good. So now, the part that you always have a problem with is here, to clean that part so you can measure it. Let's clean now. To get measurement at the first to try. If it's clean, if you have no dust or dirt, you can kick it in. You sucker. This needs air, this is nice.
This is 90. This is the one that was flat. And I guess, I assume it will, it will be flat today. If I put air on it, in it, That is flat. That is forty. That is sixty. Sixty. That is sixty. That is not going to work. Everything here is slow. Everything here is slow. So I will take it to the shop. Every tire is slow. <laughs> 